Jerry Anthony Nadeau is a former NASCAR Cup Series driver. His career was ended early when he suffered a horrific crash at Richmond Raceway in, during practice for the Cup Series race that Sunday. Nadeau did drive for a couple major teams in his career. MB2 Motorsports is number 01 U.S. Army Chevrolet. Actually, that was the team he was driving for when he indeed had his practice accident at Richmond. Uh, the number 9 Ford, he drove for Melling Racing, uh, the former championship winning team, from mid-98 through mid-99. And he also drove the number 25 Chevrolet for Hendrick Motorsports. He mainly ran the NASCAR Cup Series in his career. Nadu got his first go-kart at just four and a half years old. At age seven, he won the championship for the eight to 12 year old group. By age 18, Jerry was able to win his first World Karting Association Gold Cup Championship. From, from 82 to 95, Jerry ran from 92 to 95. Jerry ran the Skip Barber series, all different levels of it, as well as the Firestone Firehawk series. By 1995, Jerry entered eight Bush Grand National series races behind the wheel of the number 15 Ford owned by T and G Racing. He qualified for five out of the eight attempts. He finished his best finish was 19th at Myrtle Beach. He also would, he also would, so, <clears throat> to H, he also would go to HMS, you know, just to hang out, and ask for tips to help improve. In 1996, Jerry made three Bush Series starts for MPH Racing, number 59 Chevrolet, d and in the spring at Darlington, and his best finish was 39th twice, in the spring at Richmond and Nashville Fairgrounds. Jerry ran a partial schedule in Formula Opal, running 13 out of 17 races for six different teams. He finished an impressive sixth in overall points, the highest for any American driver. In November of 96, Nadeau and fellow Do Dodge Pro Series driver Tony Renna represented you at the U.S. in the EDFA Nations Cup. This was held at a place called Darlington Park. They were a, they were able to win the silver medal, well, finishing right behind Germany. The following season in 1997, Jerry went to work at Precision Products Racing. He served as a fabricator and a spotter for Morgan Shepard. When Shepard left the team for a while, Nadeau got the chance of a lifetime. He got the chance to drive the number one Grand Prix Pontiac five races. His best start was ninth at Loudoun in the summer, and his best finish was 30th at Daytona in the summer. In Arca, he made two starts in the spring at Charlotte. He finished fourth and second. They had back-to-back -back races at Charlotte. The team was Precision Products Racing, you know, the one that he was working for, and they were running number 01 Pontiac. Now in 1998, Nadeau signed on to drive full-time in the number 13 First Plus Financial Ford owned by Dan Marino and Bill Elliott. They really did struggle and after 17 races into the season, they had DNQ'd twice and completely skipped the race at Dover. The number 13, his best finish was 21st in the spring at Daytona and in the summer at Pocono. At the conclusion of race 17, Nadu moved over to the number 9 Cartoon Network Ford. He made all the remaining 16 events in that number 9 car. His best finish was 15th in the summer at Watkins Glen. Overall, they scored two top 20s. Jerry also made his Craftsman Truck Series debut at Phoenix in the fall, driving the number 9 Chevrolet for Riker Morrison Racing. He finished a disappointing 27th that race. Then, in 1999, Nadeau was back behind the wheel of the Melling Racing number 9 Cartoon Network Ford. Nadeau announced pretty early in the season that he was leaving at the conclusion of the 1999 season. In the first 22 races, 
His best finish was fifth in the summer at Watkins Glen. Overall, they scored one top five and two top tens in the first 22 starts. At the conclusion of the race in Michigan, Jerry was asked and decided to move over to MB2 Motorsports to drive the number 36 M&M's Pontiac in place of the injured Ernie Irvin. Jerry's best finish was 16th in the fall at Dover. Overall, three top 20s and 12 starts in that number 36 Pontiac. He also dominated the Winston West Series race at Watkins Glen in the spring. He won the pole, led the most laps, and won the race. In the number 9 Chevrolet owned by Melling Racing. Nadu d did also attempt the summer race in Charlotte, driving a number 90 Chevrolet for GTS, but d and would in, in the Bush Series. For 2000, Nadu joined the NASCAR powerhouse team of Hendrick Motorsports. He was behind the wheel of the number 25, MichaelHooligan.com Chevrolet. Jerry was able to score his first ever career victory in the season finale after leading the most laps at Atlanta. Overall, they scored one win, three top fives, and five top tens, finishing the 2000 Cup Series season 20th in final points. In 2001, Nadu returned to the number 25 UAW Delphi Chevrolet full-time. His best finish was second in the fall at Dover. Overall, they scored four top fives and ten top tens, and root to his career best 17th place points finish. They got really topsy. Things got really topsy turvy for Nadu in 2002. He started the season out by driving the number 25 Chevrolet the first 11 races. Now he ended up driving actually for four teams this season. His best finish in the number 25 was eighth in the spring at Bristol. Jerry made three starts in the MBV Motorsports number 10 Valvoline Pontiac in place of Johnny Benson. His best finish in that car was 18th in Loudoun. Nadu made 13 starts in the Petty Enterprises number 44 uh, Georgia Pacific Dodge. Almost winning the race in Sonoma, but DNFing with only a few laps to go after breaking a rear gear. His best finish in the number 44 was 13th in the fall of Charlotte. His, se his season was cut short after Jerry got into a bad go-kart accident, forcing him to miss the final five races of the season. He also made one start for Michael Waltrip Racing in their double zero Chevrolet at Chicagoland, finishing 37th. Overall, he scored one top 10, ending the season 37th in final point standings. He made one Bush Series start in the number 54 Chevrolet for Team Bristol Motorsports, finishing 20th in the fall at Charlotte. That following season in 2003, Nadu signed on to drive the MB2 Motorsports number 01 U.S. Army Pontiac. He was supposed to run the entire season, but while practicing for the 11th race of the season in Richmond, Nadu was in a career-ending crash. Up to that point, he ran the first 10 races. His best finish was 4th in the spring at Texas. Nadu swerved to miss a car that was slowing down, honestly probably to come into the pits, and when he did, he spun out in, in, in turn one and smashed the wall, driver's side first, at a relatively high speed. Then it, it slid against the wall for 50 or so feet and slid to a stop. At first, he did respond to his crew, but then fell unconscious. He had to be cut out of his car. Jerry was given only a 6% chance of survival. He suffered a skull fracture, complete immobility of his left side of his body, a concussion, a collapsed lung, along with several broken ribs. I mean, it was, it was so bad that he had to use a ventilator just to be able to breathe for a while. Obviously, Nadu was out for the remainder of the 2003 season. In the fall of 2003, Jerry went to MB2 Motorsports leader Jay Fry figure out a long-term comeback schedule. So Fry took Nadu to, to test at Concord Speedway. Nadu was not able to feel the brake pedal, and his stamina was very, very low. So sadly, Jerry Nadu's racing career was over. In the, in the time since the end of his career, Jerry has spent time mentoring some younger drivers, such as David Gillen, Jeffrey Earnhardt, and a few others. 
Not long ago, Nate even made an appearance on the Dale Jr. download, stating he's doing alright, and he looks like he's getting around alright as well. So, in his short time in NASCAR, Jerry Nadu made 177 starts, Cup Series starts, scoring one win in 19 top 10s. His best finish in points was 17th in 2001. Thanks for watching, everyone. And take care. <laughs>